Hello, welcome to Mapperton Gardens in high summer. I expect m most of you were there for, for our spring uh, programme. So. We hope so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we hope you're all going to enjoy the gardens in the summer so much. And also then, of course, come in the autumn and the winter because every season is beautiful. But at the moment, Steve, what are we on about? Really? Well, I think today it's mainly about our roses. <laughs> We're going to say they're absolutely perfect, and they are, particularly the ramblers, the other side of the garden. But here we've got some really beautiful old roses. That is Cardinal de Richelieu, and that is... It's William Lobb, um, which is a moss rose. And Cardinal de, is it Cardinal de Richelieu that likes climbing? That's uh, William Lobb, I uh, think. William Lobb, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just going yeah. up and up. It is, yeah. And apart from the roses, the yep. banks are looking fantastic. Absolutely, yes, yeah, yeah. And the weeds are looking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, every day they grow a little bit more. A little bit or quite a lot? Quite a lot, actually, yeah. <laughs> because we're getting the sort of growth we should have had in May now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's go and look at the banks, shall we? Excellent. First, let's. and then we can go and look at the roses afterwards. So, yeah, so we're just uh, in between the banks. Um, and it's a busy day, actually. Lots of visitors around enjoying the day. So, yes, yeah, so we were going to have a look at the banks and, and talk about what, about what we do with them. Well, I will start and you will continue, yeah? <laughs> I will start in February when the, the, there are a huge number of snowdrops on the banks and they look absolutely lovely. Moving on to April when the daffodils and the narcissi are out right along the banks. Although, Steve, we need to plant some more in one area, don't we? Yes. And it's then it's over to you. <laughs> so uh, then we let the banks grow wah, 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 wild into sort of uh, July uh, and we get this amazing display of oxeye uh, daisies in amongst sort of lots of other wild things because the banks are very dry and they bake um, and so we get um, this growth which is lush but it's not too lush uh, as we can leave it a bit longer than we can leave other areas. Once all this has gone to seed and is dried up uh, we strim it all uh, and we do that by we have one person that strims from the top, another person that strims from underneath and we try not to uh, have to go down between because they're incredibly steep and quite hard to keep a footing on. Yep, dangerous. Dangerous, yes. <laughs> quite exciting. Uh, and then they grow again until sort of October time and they get a tidy up of them for the winter. But this is sort of hitting their peak. There are those who say that they are the remains of a 17th century garden. And they could be, because banks like this have um, a history in the 17th century. And if they are, it's the only bit of 17th century garden that's left. And perhaps we can always think it is. Shall we go on towards... I think we should. Shall we go on to the wall and look at the rambler roses, huh? Definitely. Yes, and all let's the roses. do that. Yep. Right. <laughs> Well, you may think this is rather a small area of rather a large garden, but it's a most charming place to sit. A uh, lovely bench, which um, came from Minster Stone in the 1920s. And this glorious rose, I'm afraid nearly over, buff beauty, and she'll flower again in the autumn. And then here, there's this sort of very charming little rock rockery with actually rather a lot of opium poppies, but we don't use them, actually. <laughs> and also rather a lot of flowering ground elder, which is incredibly annoying. But you know, in a garden this size, you can't win. You're going to have flowering ground elder and opium poppies, and the rose goes over. And on we go. If you are enjoying this episode, please consider supporting this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at mappertonlive.com. Um, Steve, these pots are, look sort of okay. They're going to look a great deal better when they've got a new middle. When is that going to be? Any time now, actually. So um, we usually have uh, Brugmansia in here, which, uh, which are really tall, big leaf and really fantastic hang hanging flower flowers. What are um, they called, Steve? Angel trumpets? Uh, yes, yes. Something like that. But they've got old and they've sort of gone over a bit. So uh, we've taken some, cuts, uh, some cuttings from the ones we had. Uh, and we've grown those on and we put these uh, sal uh, salvia amistad in as a holding plant until the others were ready to go in. So any, any time now we can switch 
uh, these out for the Brugmansia and then we'll have a, a much better display in here. And also the colour uh, scheme will be better. Yes, yeah, the yeah. Moment, the colour scheme is a bit sort of ropey. It's a actually. bit clashy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these beds, Steve, what have you done to them this year? Well, what we've been doing over the past few years is sort of editing them. So basically everything that's here now was here before, um, but we've just removed some of the things that didn't quite work so well and added in a little bit more of what, of what does. And I'm particularly keen on the, uh, uh, the Cicerinchium, uh, which is a really great uh, plant for sort of a dry bed uh, because it just does its own thing and it self seeds as well. Um, and then last year Thank we planted God. the alliums as well. And the alliums look great. Yep. And actually, and so does uh, that geranium, which is... Uh, that's Johnson's blue or Roseanne? Because Roseanne's got a white uh, oh, centre. I think... It I think it's Johnson's Blue. Yeah, yeah. But, but we, uh, we have got Rosanna as well. Rosanna's over there. But we've got our, um, our pink one is sneaking in again, which oh. is the one we're forever trying to get rid of. Uh, well, uh, <coughs> to interpret that remark about our pink one, <laughs> we've got this absolutely hideous pink geranium with very small flowers and very large leaves that self sows all over the garden. Two years ago, the whole garden staff was absolutely dedicated to getting rid of this hideous <laughs> pink geranium, which they did. It's back all over the place. Is, Not yeah. as bad as it was. No. But unless you do get down to it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You know, it takes over absolutely, absolutely everything. Immediately. <laughs> uh, Steve, this is what we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So on our, uh, on our way through, I thought we'd better go and have a look at, uh, at what the plan is for the pots. So uh, this is a, a, a Brugmansia, or some know it as a, a Datura. But this is one of our old ones, and as you can see, it's sort of quite woody and uh, not in great shape, which is, uh, which is why it made sense to take some, some new cuttings and, and grow some new plants. I think it looks rather wonderful, actually. Well, it's but it's nice too in big. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's too so good big in pots. for the pots. <laughs> and they're poisonous, too. They are, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and they look a, a little bit... Uh, yeah. They uh, look poisonous. They do, they? they do, yeah, so yeah, do. yeah, yeah. Um, and our strelitzia is in flower as well. Oh, yes. Let's look at the strelitzia, which is here. Now, we've been talking about angels' trumpets. Now we're talking about birds of paradise. What more can you want in Mapperton Gardens? <laughs> there is a bird of paradise up there. Do you see the flower? The strelitzia. Now, this looks quite an old plant. It looks like it's been here for quite a long, long sure time. Sure, it has. It's been here all the time that I've been here. Oh, wow. <coughs> and that's another one, but it never flowers. Ever. And then what is rather pretty as well, I think, are these seeds of the um, pattern flower. Yes, I kind of let them all sort of hang through. There's a balance to be had because it starts to look a little bit like a jungle after a while. But, uh... but surely, Steve, we're rewilding the orange <laughs> aren't we? It's, it's quite wild, wild at the moment. <laughs> and then as we walk along, Steve, that, you have, must have pruned that goldfinch so beautifully. Thank you, yes. So um, I've started to, um, to have a, uh, a proper, really hard go on them. Uh, last, uh, in the, the, the winter, so early this year, um, I cut out probably a third of all the old bra bra branches on it. Did you? I did, yeah, yeah. Old um, yeah, yeah, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh, brutal with it. Good. Uh, in the hope that then we'll start to produce some new growth from, from, uh, from, from the, base. the base. Which it has? Which um, well, we well, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sorry. <laughs> See if it's been effective or not. You're gonna so, yeah, no, I'll have a uh, coming through the, uh, the lot in here. Now, having a look at the base at the mo moment, there's not a great deal of new actually, which is a bit of a shame. That looks like it's, it's sort of some good new new growth in there. Uh, but the plan is to replace the old framework over the next sort of four or five years probably and that means sort of removing some of the uh the old the oldest growth um and also this year um i've started to sort of coil them ra rather than just go, go, going going i'm never straight. quite sure about that <laughs> i know i've seen that well let's sort of... we, let's talk about that in the autumn <laughs> yes okay so the, the plan is just to try and slow the, 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 uh, the sap down as it goes. Yeah. And this is Roseanne. This yeah. is a modern, wonderful modern geranium that goes on flowering all through the year. Well, all through the season. Yeah. With a white middle. And as we go on, there's a new rose we planted there, isn't there? There is, yeah. yeah. Which is another of these massive ramblers. Bobby James? 
can't remember. I can't think remember. It, yeah, I think it was, actually. I think so. <laughs> the thing is, Steve, you and I know most of the plants in this garden, but we don't know all of them. No, very true. And what is more, when we do know them, we forget them. <laughs> Constantly. Constantly. <laughs> um, but we're very keen on Astrantia. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, Astrantia is, spread, is, is spreading throughout. And again, with this bed, we're, we're starting to sort of edit and, and change bits as we go, um, because uh, la 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 later in the year, it'll go very red and dark and, and fire, sort of fiery. And look at that wonderful red admiral there. And so we're moving on. We've we're moved on now to this is um, this rose here is rambling rector. I'm not sure what rectors who rambled did. <laughs> but I suspect they went off all around their parishes on a nice cob or nag and saw their parishioners. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not lo lo looking actually particularly well. Oh, oh no, it's looking fine. <laughs> This is, uh, this, is, this is one of the ones I, I gave a really hard chop to. Poor thing. Um, and so hopefully we will get some new growth from it, but at, uh, at the mo moment it just looks sad. Well, no, it looks all right. But well, what's <laughs> this one then? Well, this one is a similar, but sort of slightly doubled. Do you think it might be Bob, uh, Bobby James? I thought it might be Bobby James. Yeah, yeah. But anybody who sees this programme and thinks they know what it is, please can you <laughs> sort of send in a message and tell us? Because we're happy to be corrected on of anything. Course, oh, of course, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, we like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I want you at the same time, just as we go past, Steve, I think our public should see what the deer do to us. Look at that hosta there. So, uh, so and look most at that gar other gar 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 gardens have issues with slugs on hostas. We have deer on hostas. <laughs> and they're much more effective than slugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, we've got lots of, hedge uh, lots of hedgehogs around here which are keeping an eye on our slugs, but they're not going to be particularly effective against our deer. No, they're not. <laughs> Luckily, the deer didn't see that. Well, let's go to the pergola and see what's happening, shall we? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. some roses are loving it and some are looking pretty, pretty <laughs> drab and some are not bothering much at all. But <coughs> aloe? Aloe, yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, Old hybrid tea. Yes, oh yes, yeah, yeah, but, a, a, but an elegant one. I know, rare. <laughs> and then of course you like that thing, don't you? <laughs> yes, um, yeah, American pear, 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 pillar. It flowers incredibly well. No, you're completely right about that. <laughs> it's, um, it's, uh, it's quite bright. It draws, atten it draws attention. It's a pretty, it's a pretty coarse pink. It's a pretty coarse pink. And yeah, actually, yeah. the reason we got it, as you know, is because it was the rootstock for other roses. Yes, absolutely. Which yeah, is why yeah, we have yeah. so much of it. And I remember it was really difficult to get you to dig one out up there. You said you didn't really want to. Uh, well, I, yeah, I have, yeah, I'm in two minds with the with 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 these things. For 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 me, the colour palette is not my favourite. No, but. <laughs> Um, it's, it does sort of suit the 1920s kind of, kind of ambience a little bit. Let's look at Park Director Riggers. Now Park Director Riggers is this wonderful, rather upright, deep red German rose. And he is of course called Park Director Riggers. And Johnny, my husband, really likes him. He's a real goer stays going but actually Steve where are, why aren't there any flowers down here yeah Please. Well, <laughs> well we've been sort of encouraging him at the top and he's doing very well at the top but it's but all the growth is right up there where we can't really enjoy it again he may well be one that we need to sort of encourage some fresh, fresh growth from the base yep. uh, but at the moment he looks like he's being smothered by by a, a, a vine as well which is I'll have to get is up that there a and vine? have a is that a vine yeah, it is. I think it's... Oh, actually, or is it... I don't it, think it's it? actinidia, isn't it? Oh, it could be. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go through here anyway. I don't know. Um, there's a point, isn't there, Steve, when we both actually reckon, I don't know, can't do anymore. <laughs> We're going to walk straight through and then have a look at Blairii number two. two. Yes, absolutely. Now, for those of you who are listening, Blairii number two doesn't mean somebody with a hangover. It means Blair, Blairii, and it's number two version. And actually, I don't think I know what this pink thing is here. Do you? No, I feel like I should. Oh, I was reading yeah, uh, yesterday, there's over 30,000 cultivated vari vari varieties of rose. But I bet 29,000 aren't worth actually. Well, no, you're absolutely right, but it's, uh, it's a good excuse for not being able to name. <coughs> no name way, no way. 
There we are. Now, blurry eye number two. There she is. Absolutely divine. Smells divine, looks divine. I'm going to have a little smell of her. Not very vigorous. Can we make no. her more vigorous or anything? Well, so anyway, she'll grow more. I think she's quite a, you know, she's quite an old quite an old example actually, and I Steve, think she's only ten years old. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then. Uh, Should we plant a second one on the other side? We could do. Yeah, 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 and just sort of, sort of see if we can replace her because she is wonderful, but she's not very happy. No, and actually, whenever I'm picking roses, I always pick her. So You're they're, right. They're, <laughs> That's they're even that less much. than would be otherwise. <laughs> Now absolutely in the centre of the garden. Yep. Uh, we're also in the centre of the uneven paving stones. <laughs> and luckily um, we've got lots of visitors and they're not actually just in this bit at the moment. This fountain and the pond do need some goldfish and we must put some in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, uh, you, you, you have got a few of our babies where... They where, are where in there, aren't they? Yeah, or have they been some... eaten by somebody? No, no, no. They are in there, but, they, uh, but they, uh, we need more because mm -hmm. they used to eat all the algae. And yeah. now, no, they don't. Oh, oh, no, they don't. Yeah. So, well, so we're having lots of algae instead. So next time we are in the garden, it's going to be late September, yep. the beginning of autumn, the beginning yeah. of colour. What, and what will happen to those beds, Steve, up there? Well, <laughs> are the, beds, are the beds that we walk past should be deep red and yellow uh, and fiery, is the plan. Um, Both of them. Yeah, yeah, mm. hopefully. And um, hopefully by, by, that, by, uh, sort of by that point as well, I've, I've probably have started, uh, started sort of hedging as well. Well, knowing you, Steve, you'd start hedging tomorrow if you, <laughs> if you had time. Well, we've got the box to do. I know, the box. For, but actually what we've got is um, the garden growing like May when it yeah, is July. Absolutely. We and so the weeds are just astronomic, yeah. stratospheric weeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a, a, we had a really cold May mm. uh, and nothing grew as it should in May. And then sort of June started to creep. And actually the beginning of July now, it's, uh, it's growing like May. Very unusual. So I hope you've all enjoyed the high summer tour of the gardens, um, the roses in particular, and Steve and my chat which is very important for the garden section, isn't it? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and works. And um, see you all and more in late September. Mm -hmm.